Hello there artists and animators, welcome back to another video. As you know, so many 2D animation and painting software have been out there for so long, and so many others are still being released or are upcoming. And today, we are going to talk about the creative software PD Howler. Well, whether you've heard of it or not, and we suppose you did, it's been out there for quite some time, and it's doing well with its amazing wide variety of features. So what does it do and where did it come from? And most importantly, how much does it cost? To begin with, and so we're all clear, simply put, Howler is a digital painting and animation software. These two can't seem to go separately anymore, so we suggest you expect them to always be put together in any new release for any creative software. Howler, like most painting software of course, has a wide variety of features that we're going to talk about in a bit. So just keep the picture clear for now, we believe you'll be able to do whatever you want in Howler. Howler seems to be made for artists who are enthusiastic but are still new to the world of digital creativity. With a user-friendly interface and so many available options, you can imagine it would be so much fun to discover and play around with for so many artists. Whether they're animators, VFX artists, or simply painters, so even though its general vibe can feel like it's mostly for people who are trying to discover the world of digital art, what can be made through Howler is something far from being mediocre or average and can never be underestimated. Well, 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 where do we start? Even though you already have a general idea of what it's gonna be, we still have to get you in depth with what this software is truly capable of. The same way you would expect from any digital art software, Howler has everything you need to create amazing digital paintings. And by everything, we mean first and foremost, a very wide range of brushes that not only you can choose from and use, but you can also customize and change the very feel and texture of the brush. And we're saying that, assuming you didn't already find the brush you need among the pre-existing brushes on the software because the amount of brushes is overwhelming. In a good way, of course. In which case, it's good that you just sit down and open the software and take all your time slowly doodling and discovering all the brushes you see until you either find something you were looking for or discover that one brush you never knew you needed until now. Unfortunately, Howler does not support vector layers or vector brushes, but hey, it doesn't stop here. In fact, it doesn't stop at all. In case still drawings and paintings weren't enough for you, perhaps you're the kind who loves to bring everything they make in life. Howler also presents all the tools you need to create 2D traditional animation with everything from an exposure sheet to frame scanning and timeline manipulation. Of course, while still being able to use all the brushes we previously talked about in the digital art section. But what's also good about this animation feature is that you can use it to paint directly onto video frames, allowing for creative overlays and effects and 2D effects you can add on top of your pre-filmed video or animation. Yep, you heard that right. Project Dogwaffle Howler also provides a whole workspace for creating and rendering 3D environments and terrains in every way you can imagine. Crazy, right? Having this feature doesn't just mean rendering from scratch, but it also means the ability to turn your normal paintings into live landscapes, allowing you to add textures and layers of 3D rendered elements. And speaking of 3D elements, if those didn't manage to make your landscape realistic enough yet, well, who doesn't like a realistically cloudy weather? You have the ability to design and animate clouds that cast shadows and interact with the environment, making everything even more convincing and real. Still not enough? Well, wait till you see this. Just like Photoshop, Howler has this crazy amount of filters you can apply and adjust on your images to create any sort of feeling and turn your normal looking image or painting into a literal masterpiece. So far so good, right? Don't stop with a static image, because almost any filter can be animated. That's what they said on their official website. 
because Howler doesn't just stop at helping you add these still filters and apply them as overlays. It also allows you to move them around and freely animate them, creating not only a good looking image from the original painting you inserted, but also a live animated well edited masterpiece. That and we're keeping in mind you didn't even render any clouds from the previous part. This is only one out of many effects you can do, because there's also the particle tool, which just like its name indicates, allows you to create any sort of particle effects and animate them any way you want. In order to implement some of the previously mentioned filters or animation, you're going to need a motion tracker, right? Well, Howler has got your back when it comes to that because it has a built-in motion tracker and camera stabilizer that you can start with before applying any of the VFX you want to apply. And finally, if you have a great cut that you want to see in slow motion, well, there's a feature that lets you do that and generate smooth slow motion effects by inserting generated in-between frames to your original piece. Believe it or not, we still haven't mentioned all of the features yet. It still has a lot more you can check for yourself. Which brings up the question, is it easy to learn? Will I find difficulties using it? Should I even consider it? Well, while we cannot say that Howler is a particularly easy software to get the hang of, people who are going to discover this one are, like we said earlier, enthusiasts. Meaning that even if they still don't have a clear idea of what they're going to do, they have enough drive and motive to go around and get in depth with what it gives. But given that a lot of these features are ones that can't be studied or learned overnight, we still believe it might be better if you already have in mind what you want to do with this software, so that you come in prepared to take your time discovering the tools and learning how to use them, and overall getting used to the interface and the placement of each tool or filter you might ever need to access. The million dollar question. All of those features for sure get you wondering, is it free? Well, it's complicated. Howler is a paid software. It's a one-time purchase for $12.99, which is extremely cheap, considering what it provides and all the features it has. A lot of the people in the reviews of this program said that they often feel undercharged for how brilliant and useful they find it to be. However, if you're still hesitant about buying it, Howler's older version, the 2023 one, is actually entirely for free on their official website. Although they're raising funds to make the latest version free as well, it is still not confirmed when they will be doing it. Therefore, they only have the 2023 version of it for free. We recommend that you try it and maybe consider buying the newer version or even donate for it to be released for free. We hope that we've been able to provide enough insight for you about this new looking software and its features. And now that you're able to make up your mind whether to go for it or not, Although really, if you're an animator, digital artist, or VFX enthusiast, we highly recommend that you do. See you in our next video.